guys, how have you been? So today I am back with another bearded dragon video and this week Jack has been giving me a little bit of a hard time with her feeding process. She's starting to, she has decided that she doesn't like any of the food that I'm feeding her and she's honestly stressing me out so bad. And I got to thinking, well, hey, maybe I should make a video on it because back when I first got her, I knew that if she didn't eat in like two or three days, I was freaking out, calling the vet, asking what's wrong, thinking she's gonna die. I'm here today to share with you five reasons why your bearded dragon might stop eating and hopefully I will be able to save you a panic attack or at least a vet visit. Anyways, I just wanna make a disclaimer, I am not a licensed vet, I do not practice veterinary medicine, I I am just a girl who has an extreme passion for her bearded dragon and I know a lot of information. So you can try all of my tips and stuff. If it still doesn't work, please consult a vet. Other than that, let's get into this video. The first reason they might not be eating is they could just be bored of their diet. I found this out the hard way by actually making a vet visit and $50 later, I just found out that Jack was bored of what she's eating. My vet did tell me though that since I have a female dragon, they tend to be pickier when it comes to food. And a really good word for the female bearded dragons is that they're very high maintenance. They like the variety and they're not gonna stick to one thing. So if you have a female bearded dragon and they're not eating, go ahead and try that out. But don't, if you have a male and they're not eating, don't rule that out too. First try to change up their diet. So a quick easy fix is going from superworms to hornworms, or even with their greens, if you're doing turnip greens, go to collard greens. There's a huge list on Google, or you could check out my other um, video of, how, of what I feed my bearded dragon. I believe I put a list at the very end of it of all the different greens and stuff that they are that they are allowed to eat. Or you could just shoot me a question down below. I, I'll be happy to answer. The second reason why they might not be eating. So if you tried my first suggestion and changed their diet but they're still not eating, the second reason might be because their UVB light is old. I know there's there's lights that go from six months and then there's ones that can last a whole year. I get the whole year one and I still change it every six months. I have noticed too, a big indicator that she needs a UVB change is that she's acting pretty lazy on top of just not eating. So if you change your UVB light, um, I would say it took Jack maybe a few hours and then she was ready to eat again, which is, which is pretty amazing. And the third reason is they haven't pooped. So if you're sitting there and your bearded dragon hasn't ate in a while, ask yourself when was the last time that they pooped? If you can't remember or it's been more than two days, I would go ahead and give them a warm bath and massage your stomach and I bet you they'll poop and I'll bet you after they poop, they're gonna be hungry because that's what happens a lot with this girl because she gets really constipated. Maybe she just likes me massaging her belly and just catering to her. But go ahead and give them a bath and see if you can get them to poop. My fourth reason is it could be close to brumation and or mating season. So brumation season normally happens in the fall. That's pretty much where they go into a sleep like hibernation. This can last from anywhere from a week, two weeks, up to a month, and I've even heard like two months or more, which I think is crazy, but that could be another reason why they're not eating. They're preparing themselves to go into a hibernation. Their mating season happens in the spring. Fun fact, my vet says that if you ever want to change their tank or change up their scenery, the best time to do it is to do it during their mating season because that's just when all of their internal works and clocks or whatever um, gets reset and they'll have an easier adjustment period with that. Right? So if they're not eating, just check to see the time of year and it could very well be because of that. And the fifth and last reason that I have is it could be either too cold or too hot in their tank. If it's too cold, they tend to burrow underneath something and they're just not warm enough to eat. And if they're too hot, again, it's just self-explanatory, they're just too hot, they're not gonna wanna eat. You'll, you'll notice too, they'll do a lot of gaping. It's okay for them to gape in their basking area, that tends to be, that's okay, but if, they're, if you see them like gaping all around, which gaping is them having their mouth like opened, that's a very good way to tell if their tank is too hot. The easiest way to tell though is just get a thermometer. The best ones are the temperature guns where you can actually like laser point in their tank and see what the exact temperature is. I have one and it's honestly amazing. It works way better than those little um, ones that you stick on because you should have one at the basket side and one at the other end. But then again, like I said, the temperature gun just takes away 
of having to check both of those and making sure that they're working, which I found out mine weren't working. We're going on a ramble now. So anyways, yeah, temperature gun or the two temperature readers. But again, like I said, I'm not a vet. I, there can be a million reasons why your bearded dragon's not eating. I just know that over the two years of having Jack, these five reasons are the most common ones on why they stop. So if you checked off all five of my reasons and your bearded dragon's still not eating, go ahead and consult a vet. They know the best. And other than that, that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or just want to say hey, leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoy my rambling or just want to see more of me, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.